Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader .com. Uh, nightly wrap up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Not the greatest day for me. Um, I haven't said that in a while, but not the greatest day for me. I felt like a starting pitcher who just didn't have his stuff today. You know what I mean? And we'll get to that in a second. Uh, other than that, uh, markets again pretty bland today. Uh, pretty much, pretty much kind of what we've been seeing, uh, especially from uh, the indexes. You have the Dow down uh, fifty points today. You have the S and P. Up four points today, and you had the Nasdaq uh, squeezing out uh, twelve points. Uh, if you look at all the indexes, you kind of see the same thing we've been talking about. Um, you know, we broke the fifty-day moving average. This is day four below it. Uh, every single time we attempt to rally, we get rejected. Today, we got rejected uh, at the five-day moving average that is shortest uh, term support. Uh, IWM has been uh, continuous, even on a day today. Uh, that the IWM was down, it held uh, it held the rising uh, ten day moving average uh, really well, just really really well. Uh, continues uh, to be, I guess you could call it the leader, right? Uh, continues to be the leader uh, of all the major benchmarks. Uh, the Dow uh, down, you know, down about 40, 50 points, down fifty points. But again, uh, the good news there is at least it put in an inside day uh, from the previous day's really big rally. And if you look at all the players today, especially in the NASDAQ 100, you'll quickly see it's kind of the same thing that we've been talking about over and over and over again. If you guys remember, and again, I didn't see it happening until today. Um, we talked about uh, on the video, on the weekend video, that the only way, the absolute only way Tesla can start rallying again if it reclaimed 226, right? It was only the video uh, prior to today. All you got to do is go back. Tesla did what is did, did absolutely that today. Uh, great move, absolutely great move. You can see this whole channel here, right? This whole channel here, it busted through and had a massive, massive day. It traded uh, all the way up to uh, two thirty four. This was basically almost like on one candle. If you look at the sixty minute view, right? If you look at the sixty minute view, this was basically done on one candle. Tesla had great move, great, great move. Reclaimed back the twenty day moving average. Uh, and if it could confirm today's action for tomorrow, you could get a move to this 238 uh, followed by the 242. We saw a, a plethora, plethora of uh, 240s, uh, 250s, even short-term expiration uh, for Tesla after you know getting you know hit for the last several days. Uh, Google finally had an update, reclaimed back uh, the previous channel. And if it could start building above today's highs, again, the dead cat balance could get to the roughly the 171, uh, 172 area. Uh, Microsoft, again, it's kind of the same thing as, as, as Google. First update today, tried to reclaim the five-day moving average, uh, got stuck. But you can see how beat up these stocks are, especially uh, when giving up the 50-day uh, moving average. Uh, you have Microsoft, you have Amazon that reports on uh, on Thursday again rejected at the 10-day moving average. Again, another case that's below the 50-day moving average, trying to get back up. Obviously, uh, earnings on uh, Amazon on Thursday is going to get it either out of this range here and reclaim back the 50-day moving average, or it's going to start drifting back to the 65-day roughly in this 176 area. So again, there's going to be a lot of factors. On Amazon, uh, you have Apple. Uh, Apple today unveiled its uh, AI, or at least started talking about unveiling its AI uh, phone. Uh, they said they're using uh, Google, right? They're using Google custom AI chips. Uh, they report uh, also on Thursday, again, another scenario of back-to-back -back days getting rejected at the five-day moving average. You can see it's very, very orderly as is getting rejected off the five-day moving average. But the only good thing about Apple, because it has such a big run, it's still way above uh, the 50-day moving average. It's acting very, very well. Uh, Meta, for the last couple of days, have gotten really nice bounces. The only problem today is it tried to reclaim uh, back the 10-day moving average, obviously way below the 50. Uh, inverted hammer, which is obviously a negative thing. You don't want to see that. Watch tomorrow, uh, Meta. This thing starts losing, uh, giving back 
uh, the 65-day EMA. This thing is start going right back down. Uh, AMD uh, also reports tomorrow. The damn thing just cannot get out of its own way, guys. I mean, look at look at the stock. Do you remember how big that move was uh, all the way up in uh, January from March, right? It hasn't seen sunlight. It really hasn't seen sunlight since March. Uh, they report uh, earnings tomorrow night along with Microsoft. So obviously, uh, we will see if uh, we will see if uh, you know AMD can wake up. But for it to get it, for it to get its its sea legs back, it's gonna have to reclaim the 50-day moving average above uh, 163. It's far off of that. Uh, Netflix, right? Netflix, uh, you know, Netflix just again building a base below the 50 day moving average. It's very, very close to its earnings lows. Guys, watch this thing. This thing starts taking out uh, these earnings lows. This thing could get hit. This thing is maybe a day or two away from testing those numbers. Uh, SMCI, another uh, chip maker just like AMD, cannot get out of its own way. And last but not least, right? Uh, well, two more I'll give you. Arm uh, downgraded today. Uh, downgraded today. Well, actually, nice pivot on Arm today, uh, but downgraded today. Uh, first close below uh, the 50-day moving average. Keep an eye on this thing. This thing starts losing uh, today's channel tomorrow. Maybe this thing goes down uh, to 34. And last but not least is Nvidia. Right. So Nvidia reports about two three weeks. Right. They report in two three weeks. Uh, number one, again, building below the 50-day moving average. And the last couple of days, they tried to sell it off, right? They tried to sell it off and it kept on defending, right? It kept on defending uh, this area here, which is the 150-day SMA. This is the first close today below the 150-day SMA. And the one thing about it is, and again, I'm, very, I'm a very, very big believer in in uh, option flow and price action usually tends to follow uh, soon after. Guys, we saw today all day long, right? All day long today, they were coming for the weeklies, the 110, the 108, and the 105 puts all day today, literally all day today. And this is now the close. This is the lowest close uh, in this whole formation. Uh, we also saw a really big buyer in September, $100 puts as well. And here's an odd bet. I, I believe Carvana reports on Wednesday. Let me just check it out really quickly for you guys. I want to show you guys something. Uh, Carvana, 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 Carvana. Uh, did I miss it? Carvana. Anyway, there, guys, there was a massive bet on Carvana uh, throughout the morning. Somebody bet nearly... I think it was nearly eight hundred thousand dollars that this thing was weekly. The weekly one hundred five puts, guys. Keep this in mind. That's you know twenty twenty five points out of the money. Keep an eye on Carvana. Uh, but again, this is one of those situations that when you have strength, right? When you have strength, and especially in a reverse trend day, and you see everything's moving lower. This day was one of those days, man. I just couldn't find my footing. It wasn't like a big financial disaster. It wasn't anything like that. It was like, I felt like I was pretty much getting nickeled and dimed all day today. Like literally nickeled and dimed. I tried to buy a balance. It didn't hold the balance. I lost 30 cents. And then and then I tried to short into in, into supply. Uh, you know, it, it sat there, came back in a little bit. You know, I was, you know, I didn't get enough cash flow. Went up 40, 50 cents, stopped me out. And it happened like three times today. And I was like, you know what? This is just not my day. It, 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 the one, the biggest lesson I've, I've always Always remember, always, always remember when you have a market that has a lot of volatility, right? And a very sensitive market. Again, again, we're below, you know, we are below the 50 day moving average. So you're going to have a lot of volatility, especially on days that the market is moving up. And if you can't get your footing, guys, okay, like a day, like today, I just didn't have it today. It's just one of those things I didn't have it today. It's nothing to do with the money. It's, it's more of I did whatever I needed to do to kind of after like, 11 o'clock, just get out the way. Like I just didn't want any part of this tape because I know and experience tells me for years and years and years, when you have the day and you're off, and I don't care what you are, what trader, um, what uh, professional athlete, right? You, you could have Steph Curry, for example, the best shooter we, we'll ever see in our lifetime. There was a game, I think this year, he went, what, 0 for 8 from the three-point range? He's not going to have that again. So everybody, regardless of profession, regardless of walk of life, but especially in this business, you are going to run into a day that nothing you can do is going to put you on the right side of the table. It's just one of those things. 
And, you know, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, I would have been kept on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And I would have wound up with mental brain damage, um, more money out the window. And I just said, you know what? Let me just chill for the rest of the day. It's just not for me. Uh, it's not for me. I keep on getting, you know, just nickeled and dimed to death. Literally, just nickeled and dimed to death. Uh, and then I, I did a stupid trade. I, 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 did, I shorted it. Uh, the first balance before confirmation. I just did some dumbass things. There's like four or five days a year. I'll do something really stupid. I felt like I did all of that today. So it's one of those situations like you learn from your experience. You kind of learn from getting kicked in the face. And eventually you don't keep on, you know, poking the bear, poking the bear, no pun in- in- intended. You just get out the way and just kind of recharge the brain. You, you, you don't get back that mental equity. Okay. That's one of the things I learned. So if it's not your day, and it's like your trade three, four, five, and it's like 11 o'clock and you just see everything you're doing is just raw, right? You're just mistiming everything. As soon as you get out of a position, it goes. As soon as you, you reject the position and cover, it starts to implode. And it was like one of those days I was like, yo, I just, it's just not my thing, man. I'll, I'll tell you guys, the fastest you figure that out in your trading career, then when the day is just not for you and you get out of your way, you're going to save yourself a lot of mental equity. You're going to save yourself a lot of money, right? Because you realize, again, you're just getting bad cards. And instead of playing that bad card, at least it was dealt to me, I just got out of my way, short memory. Again, who cares? It's one day out of a million. And the most important thing is get the value uh, for today. So let me give you guys some ideas uh, that I definitely like uh, for uh, tomorrow. Guys, watch video. Keep watching video for tomorrow, guys. This thing loses today's channels. Again, I don't know if it's going to get down to uh, the last week's lows, but I'm telling you, this thing loses today's channel. This thing has a legitimate shot of uh, getting hit. Uh, watch Apple in case they try to rally it. Keep an eye on Apple for tomorrow. In case they try to rally it ahead of earnings above the five-day, it can give us a trade. Tesla, you know, again, you know, it, it first closed above the the twenty day. It did it. It did what it had to do. Guys, watch this thing. Look at the sixty minute view. How tight it's getting, right? Look at the sixty minute view. How tight it's getting on the sixty minute view here. Watch Tesla. If it could confirm today's channels, we could get a trade all the way up to the two thirty eight, maybe possibly two forty two level. Uh, so that looks good as well. And let me see what else I can give you guys. Um, oh, look at this. Look, look at NVCR. Right, look at MVCR. I'm not sure exactly what this is. It had a big run here, and the reason why it caught my attention, you see, right here on um, on May the second, it reclaimed the 50-day moving average. What transpired after was like a massive three-week run. Guys, look look at this MVCR today. First close above the 50-day moving average. Keep an eye on this thing, right? Keep an eye on this thing for tomorrow. Uh, if this thing could reclaim today's channel and confirm it, maybe this starts another run similar to May. So that's it, guys. So have a great night, everybody. Hopefully tomorrow will be a lot uh, smoother. Uh, the most important thing is the market could win the battles, guys. But put yourself in a mental situation that you don't need to trade every single second, except sometimes you accept a little bit of a beating, as uh, Ray Liotta and Goodfellas says, once in a while, everyone takes a beating. Yeah, it's good, right? Sometimes it's good to test the chin once in a while to make sure you don't have a glass jaw. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night, and I will catch you all tomorrow. Take care.